Uh, we've got Ryan from BioLite. Um, Greg gave us another, you know, quick little intro. But if you want to just get into your mission as a company and why you're here, why you make the products that you do. Yeah, sure. Thank you. Um, so I'm Ryan. I'm the engineering director at BioLite, and at BioLite we make personal scale off-grid energy products, and we make those products for two different markets that we serve. One is an outdoor recreation market, so we make products for backpackers, campers, um, people that are in disaster preparedness situations, and then we have another side of the business that focuses on, focuses on emerging markets. Um, so people are off-grid because they live there. Primarily, uh, the customers we serve are off-grid in rural parts of sub-Saharan Africa. Nice. Um, and so we, we try to focus on something we call parallel innovation, which is to take uh, core technologies and core product features and apply them to both sides of that business. So we find a lot of the problems you're trying to solve or a lot of the use cases that you find are very similar, whether you're off-grid for recreation or because you live there. Very cool. Um, yeah, and you, you mentioned the mission statement. Yes. Um, I wanted to get into that a little bit because yeah. the company is really focused on the social impact side of our business, which is where we focus in emerging markets. And we, um, you know, we build energy, personal scale energy products that span cooking and lighting and charging. We have solar products, battery storage products. So we're solving lots of, of big problems. But um, sort of the, the most acute uh, global problem that we recognized when the founders were putting the company together was the, the problem of indoor air pollution. And it's an incredible. Over 3 billion people still cook on smoky open fires inside their homes. And most of these people are, are off-grid in uh, emerging markets areas. And the people breathe this harmful smoke. It's got carbon monoxide. It's got particulate matter. And so uh, over 4 million people die every year from, from indoor air pollution. And so our founders came up with a, a really ingenious design for a wood-burning stove that's able to take some of the waste heat in the cooking process and turn that into electricity. Uh, which is great. You can use the electricity for lighting. Uh, you can use it to charge mobile phones, which is something that uh, lots of folks in emerging markets are starting to have access to. Um, but also, and importantly, you can use some of that energy to power a fan. And the fan can bring uh, the oxygen that the fire needs to burn completely and efficiently. So you can really reduce all that smoke. Our, our stoves can reduce smoke by 90%, nice. which completely changes the, the health impact inside. And is that what you... Yeah, so we've actually, this is a, a product that I brought. I guess I'll pick it up. It, cool. It's a little big uh -huh. and it may block <laughs> my view a little bit, but this is the fire pit and this is one of our, our newest products uh, in our recreation space. Um, and it's basically a, a scaled up version of the stove that I just described to you. Okay. Um, in this product, you're able to, to have like a, a full scale uh, social gathering fire pit. You can also do cooking with it. So it's a really great um, sor sort of multi functional piece of kit and it's a real workhorse. We take it um, every year the company does a big camping trip up at Lake George. Oh, nice. uh, we bring the whole company and we camp out for uh, several days and we do all of our social fire pit gathering around this product. We also do all of our cooking on the product and it was designed uh, again with that forced air injection so that you can get oxygen into the parts of the fire that need it to burn really smoke free and it's great. After a, a week of camping with this thing you normally come home after camping and you've got your sleeping bag and all your clothes smell like smoke, right. you don't get that with this product. Right. It's really great. It so makes for a really enjoyable experience. Can you take me through the steps only because I'm not that familiar with camping. Growing <laughs> up in New York and New sure. Jersey, there's not much room. Yep. Um, so can you take me through the steps of like you're going camping, you pack it, you get there, you unpack your stuff, what do you do? Yeah, so it, it'll burn the same cordwood that you normally would burn in the ring fire pit at okay. your campsite. And the other thing that the air injection gets for you is a little bit uh, of improvement in terms of the starting. Sometimes okay. that's the, the hardest part about a fire is getting the kindling going and starting the process. Right. Um, if you bring a little bit of air into the beginning of that, it makes it a lot easier. And the fire pit's not just for camping. It, it, it's just as uh, well suited for sitting in your backyard. A lot of people now have fire pits, either gas or wood burning fire pits in their backyard, and it's, it's great for that as well. It's great for tailgating. Uh, we've taken it to the beach for, okay. for just a day at the beach. And as I said before, it, it's also a cooking device. So there's a grill grate that sits on the top here. Okay. And you can either use wood and burn that wood down until you have wood char okay. to cook over. Or you can use charcoal, just like you would in your normal Weber charcoal grill. Nice. So setup is just as usual? You yep. Just add all yeah, the, the legs fold up. I won't show you because right. we've got a small table here. Okay. But the legs <laughs> fold up. And uh, if you go to our website, there's also an available carrying cover case, Oh, nice. Uh, okay. which does two functions. One. Uh, it's a great rain cover for the product. The product comes with its own rain cover, but it's an advanced version of that rain cover that has a solar panel built in. 
And so that's a great way, if you're using this in your backyard or for a long camping trip, it's a great way to keep this power pack recharged and fresh. And the power pack not only powers the fan, but it's also an energy storage bank. So if you have other devices that you need to charge off grid, there's 40 watt hours of storage, which wow. is a ton of storage. It's, nice. it's like 10 phone charges. This thing will run on the low fan setting for over 24 hours. On the max fan setting, it'll run for over five hours. Great. And yeah. what is the price point on that one? This is 199 Nice. Yeah. Well, I've and brought a couple other products. Yeah, yeah. If you want to just go through them. Yeah, um, sure. So some of our other newer products, uh, as I said before, the company uh, builds products in sort of three categories cooking, charging, and lighting. And right. so we've got the cooking side we just talked about, charging, we've got an array of solar panels that are, are generators to generate the electricity. And then on the lighting side is how we efficiently use that electricity. So when you're off-grid, lighting is a, a sort of core necessity. Right. Uh, and so I brought two products here. One is the, our latest launch, which is something I'm really excited about. The is this headlamp. the headlamp? Can yeah, I this try is it headlamp. on? Yeah, you can definitely try it okay. on. Okay, how it do I do this? It comes in, so this is the front where okay. the light is. And the back is where the battery pack is. And that's actually, yeah, so cool. literally just like this? Yep. Okay. I'm not sure top. how this looks. Okay. I'm not sure how I look right now in this outfit, but... <laughs> I think it's pretty sweet. <laughs> <laughs> so what we did, we, we've taken sort of a unique approach to the headlamp. We, we look at headlamps today when you go to the store to buy one, and they're all basically the same. It's a big clunky brick that's cantilevered off of a, an elastic band. And we thought, that's, there's got to be a better way, right? Electronics are getting better, LEDs are getting better, battery technology is getting more dense. So how can we pack... Uh, oh, the full brightness. That, that is you found bright, it. people. Okay. <laughs> yeah, off because it's kind of annoying. <laughs> Ooh, wow. There's a, a That's spotlight, a floodlight, uh -huh. and a red light for nighttime. Oh, cool. Like camera. when you have to go to the bathroom and right. stuff. But you just saw the white light is is extremely bright. There's 330 lumens That's packed into this bright, thing, yeah. which is a really tiny form factor on the front of your head. Like, and what we've done is integrated the electronics and the plastics right into the the fabric and the soft goods. So it's a very slim, compact, very comfortable headlamp. And we've balanced the weight between the, the lamp portion and the battery portion uh, on the front and back of your head to give you a really comfortable fit. Yeah, it is, it's really comfortable. It doesn't feel like I'm wearing anything at all. I thought it would be a little heavy, but you don't feel you don't it, it at, at all. all. So just don't press that button uh, <laughs> while you're looking, when you're looking straight at, <laughs> at the light. Um, super cool. And then we have we have one more right Yeah, here. I'll show you the sunlight real quick. So cool. I just want to show you packaging. There's nice. uh, These are two colors, the, the gray and the teal. There's also a yellow and a red. Oh, cool. Lamp cool. Well. And you can see all those on the website. And then this thing that's been kind of going in party mode in the background as we've been I've talking. actually used that before. Yeah, yes. that's great. Yes, I have. Yeah, we call this little guy the sunlight. Um, yeah. And this is uh, a really exciting, compact product. It's a, a lantern that can be set to you know white ambient mm -hmm. light so you can just set it on the table and use it. It's got a hanger for the nighttime if you want to put it in your tent and light I was your just, tent yeah. that way. The one time I did go camping I did use that in a tent and it's, it's very it, useful. Yeah, it's <laughs> useful. And it's such a compact little form factor. You can turn this off and shove it into any of your pockets or little right. pouches on your backpack. Um, and then we saw there's some other color modes as well. And you can nice. select a color that you like or you can go all the way into this color fading party mode. And that's something that's kind of cool to do. We, we just had uh, a bunch of people carve their Halloween pumpkins, their jack-o'-lanterns, oh, and, and you put in this there. in party mode and then stick it inside nice. rather, than the, uh, rather than the candle. And it works Very great. cool. But well, it's just a lot of fun. Yeah, that, that one's really, that's great. These are and, all really cool. Yeah, and we call it the sunlight because it's got a solar panel built right in. Oh, so nice. So this has got battery storage inside. You can charge it before your trip mm -hmm. uh, and it'll run for, I believe, 20 hours on the lowest setting. Um, and then if it runs down, you just use the solar panel to get it charged back up. And it's got this convenient little stand with something we call the sundial here, which helps you align it perfectly to the sun. And then you get it nice and recharged and can use it that night. Perfect. Yeah. Well, so yeah. do you want to you wanna tell our viewers where they can find all these great products? Yeah, definitely. I mean, the, the quickest place is BioLightEnergy.com. That's our website. Um, we're available through REI Cabela's uh, Bass Pro Shop as well if you want to go look at things uh, in person, and I think you can find us on Amazon for a lot of the products as well. Great. Well, thank you so much for joining us. Yeah. Uh, thanks for coming to visit our New York office and showing us all these cool things.